started to start working towards it in the last three or four years. I must probably give a shout out to my beloved fiance Rachel. I wouldn't have done this without her as well. There we go. Are you happy? Thank you. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, and it is just amazing. You know, I, I don't, I don't consider myself like the artsy party type and that, but I love a good picture. I love a good video. I yeah. love a story, and you know, that it's great to be working with people. You know, and that that's why I'm very fortunate to have met, uh, fallen in with Gary and Co. Because. We're all the same, you know, we've, we, we all aspire, we all have the same interests and, you know, we all hopefully want to be doing this ourselves, you know, so hopefully, you never know, in about 26 years time, there'll be a documentary on our documentary, you know. Exactly it's, so, yeah. Came from nowhere, you know, there's this like or, really good looking or, producer and, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, or in, in less time, I mean, you can actually go in something deeper either yeah I knew I mean, it, but I, I, that's that's the plan for us already like you said we're, we're looking at doing this documentary on don calfa um yeah. you know when when uh, post production's wrapped up now on leviathan that we're not really going to rest you know we've got to sort out all the distribution for it uh exactly. but at the same time now um because i'll be co-writing uh with gary and i'm actually going to be directing the don calfa documentary so there's, there, there's a lot of work to be done. You know, it's kind of scary, you know. And this is why it shows how people like Clive are so special. You know, to them, it's like, right, you've got another job now. You finish that 200-day uh, shoot. Let's go on to the next one. Great. Where's me? Oh God. I, I better start drinking my uh, Red Bull energy drinks and everything. You know, some Gatorade because. You know, it's it, there's a lot of worry, but I'm really excited. You know, I'm hoping that. <laughs> It's, it's just the beginning for us, you know, this is going to be a common thing. We've got the Hellraiser documentary, Don Calfa documentary. I mean, very, very early days, but we've certainly talked about our own stories as well. You know, mm -hmm. and if, you know, when the time comes and the time is right and we know we've got something, then who knows, we could be looking at doing at least shorts, you never know, feature films as well, if, you know, find the right place. So hopefully this is the start of a big adventure, but... Until then, who knows? Just I, take I think it is, yeah. Yeah, just keep working. But, for example, uh, to, to, to let you go, uh, the, the final questions. Do you have, uh, when you were doing commentary and stuff, uh, some event, some odd event uh, amongst... Uh, Everything you've been through with Gary and the crew. Yeah. How, how do you mean, like sort of a, an odd event or like a odd, odd event or hilarious or <laughs> or maybe... there's been tons. There's we're probably gonna have like a series of uh, outtakes um, and some of the people we meet as well. They're, they're all just as crazy as each other. I mean, you know, Nick is just, Nick. I mean, actually, Simon didn't stop laughing in his first interview. I mean, he was the first interview, uh, and we had we had actually had like a couple to drink before we started. So like literally, like every sentence, like yeah. So you know, and they put the makeup on me. <laughs> then they were doing this. <laughs> so he's like laughing. Um, I mean, there's all sorts. I mean, we've we've all had a really good laugh. You know, we we've certainly taken this seriously, um, but we can all laugh and joke. I mean, Ken Cranham was. Yeah. I mean, we've got we've got some interesting footage of him. Uh, which wasn't during the interview, uh, which involves him eating a uh, an orange. I mean, he didn't just eat the orange, he destroyed the orange. I mean, if you could that honestly say that someone, you know, it sounds impossible, but raped an orange, he raped an orange. And I was there, I, was, I, I stood right behind him and the camera was still rolling. So whether that takes it out or not is, is another thing. But, um, you know... Et, I mean, Peter Atkins was hilarious as well. I mean, he, he did this thing where um, for when he wasn't talking about the Hellraiser films, if he was worried he was talking about something completely different, he'd do this. So I'd say, oh, this doesn't go, you know, this, 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 isn't, this isn't on, you know, this is off record. I'd say, uh, cut. <laughs> so, not cut, just so, like, we can use it in the documentary. So if we think, like, oh, yeah, that could be good, we can't because literally you've got him going... You know, so, I mean, it was, we met some hilarious people, you know, Nick was hilarious, uh, Barbie was a good laugh as well, you know, it's, it's and I've got to be honest, um, I mean, uh, Doug actually scared me when I interviewed him, 
yeah. he's the only person I've ever met. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I've I've met quite a lot of people in this documentary and through Gary, um, you know, big actors who I was brought up on. Uh, but Doug, man, he he scared the shit out of me. And I'll go on record to say that as well, Doug. If you're watching this, of course, then you know you you, you won there. Um, I mean, like he obviously this is Pinhead I was talking to, you know, um, and he knows who he is. He knows what he is to us. He's a big deal. And so, of course, you know, he was in complete control of this interview. So every time I'm interviewing him, I'm sort of going, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, sorry, um, uh, uh, blah, 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 and like crapping myself, you know. And then um, I will tear your soul apart. Yeah, pretty much. He did. He tore my soul yeah. apart and my dignity. You know, I, I felt like a little girl <laughs> after I interviewed him. Um, but again, yeah, he was fantastic, you know, and to... to to have him so graciously come and do our little documentary, you know, was amazing. I think he was the first major stamp that we could put on our documentary. He's like, we've got Pinhead. Yeah. And he was, he was <laughs> yeah, he was a character. He was funny as well. I mean, I, I think if at one point we were joking around, and don't ask me how we got to this, but he said like, oh yeah, Pinhead playing cricket. God knows where that came from. <laughs> you know, and so we had a laugh, but like I said, he was... He was certainly boss. He was he was boss for those like three hours. We were, yeah. you know, like, Ugh. yes, yes, uh, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the picture uh, of him with some boots. Oh, on. Yeah. Uh, he was he uh, well dressed up. He looked like a pen. <laughs> um, you know, he had like he had like this like really heavy duty neck chain on. The black shirt, like unbuttoned. I mean, I couldn't decide if he was a pimp or he might have been an assassin. Maybe he was going to go and kill some at Channing Cross Station or something. Cause he did. He, he looked. He looked the business when we met him. Yeah, super cool as well, you know. And of course, again, you know, another British lad who now, because uh, we we caught him just before he was about to go back out to America. You know, yeah. he's a resident of America. You know, he's got his green card and everything. It's oh. like, wow, talk about living the dream. You know, he's, he's yeah. moved over there. And, you know, fair play to him, man. You know, really charismatic. <laughs> but, yeah, still still scared the shit out of me, though. <laughs> yeah. And Gary, how how was he about it? He's a big fan of Oh, the, the channel, oh, uh, yeah, Gary was oh, like yeah, a discreet yeah. little schoolgirl. Like he wouldn't let, he wouldn't sort of let up on the uh, Ken Cranham interviews. You know, as I'm interviewing him, you're looking at um, Gary in the corner, almost looking at him like One Direction, like a little girl. You know, like yeah, he, he was very, he was very happy to have Ken. I mean, God knows he's got enough toys of uh, Dr. Oh. Chenard. Yeah, I was. It's a it's a real geek fest when you go to Gary's house. It's like, oh look, you've got a Doctor Chenard toy, and you've got another Doctor Chenard toy, and another one, and another one, and another one. Uh, oh, you got a big one, or you got a small one? Yeah, he's he's uh, and the and the bus. Yeah, he's got the bus. He's got everything. So he's a uh, you know whenever I feel I'm a bit of a nerd, I've just got to look at Gary and go. There's people far with you out there. Mate. <laughs> yeah, I might have a lot of DVDs in my. Uh, even my fiance calls me a geek, but uh, no, there, there's people worse out me uh, than me out there, and their name is Gary Smart. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but um, it's, it's it's just been great though, you know. Just talking like this, I can't believe that, you know. Thank yeah. you so much for having me on your show, you know, to talk about it. Yeah, thank you. I feel like a celebrity now. <laughs> I hope I, I can make someday a web page or something like that. Or, uh, but I have so far, it's, uh, 